Scotland and sweetest fatherland, but here's the place where we revere the heroes of our city dear. takes a stand for God and sweetest fatherland, but here's the place where we revere the heroes of our city dear. Father Comstock, commander of the 7th Cavalry. That man did not lead the 7th. Hell, I don't even remember they got Corporal DeWitt proved his worth on the field that day. Well, I'll be. Slate? Is that you? You've always been different, haven't you, Booker? You crave no glory. Look, I see you're caught up in some kind of jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep this shock jockey, and we'll that tin soldier, Comstock, wants my boys dead. We won't die at his hands. There's going to be trouble. All my men have left as a choice. Die at the hands of a tin soldier, or a real one! <laughs> <laughs> Give 
give us the shock jockey. If you want the vigor to learn, you will give my men a soldier's death. They wait for you with wounded knee and Mickey. what the doctor ordered. I'll try to keep you stocked with both bandages and ammo, but the right materials aren't always at hand.
hue and cry with hatchet red. They danced amongst our noble dead. But when our soldiers took the field, the savage horde could only you, yield. You were there. That wounded knee. I can see it in your face. Tell her, Booker! Tell her how we strode that battlefield like the heroes of Sparta. I still hear the screams. This comes to me. Here's the soldier I spoke of. The kind of man who protects me. Say what I told you true. Just give me what I need. I will. After you do the same for me. Come and look for me amongst the boxers. Who are the boxers? The Chinese. He means us to head to the other display. Can you hear Comstock's tin soldiers coming to silence us? But we are the true patriots. The history that does not fit in their books. yourself. Rebellion. What happened there? In Peking, it was my hand that put the city to the torch. Of course, that's not how Comstock tells it.
put that away. Who's out there? Was yellow skin and slanted eyes that did betray us with their lies until they crossed the righteous path of our prophet's holy wrath. Comstock led the Colombian troops to Peking. Comstock wasn't there! The boxers took my eye and 30 of my friends! Is there even a stone to mark that sacrifice? For this, I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. Then what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you tried to erase, what's left? Come back to the rotunda. It's almost over. What did Slate mean? Why did you try to erase? Now that you're out of yours, you might realize cages have their advantages. A choice is better than none, Mr. DeWitt. No matter what the outcome. Yeah. What if you woke up one day and realized you didn't like what you chose? Okay. 
Say what you want about Lady Comstock. The woman had an eye for fashion. You've seen what Comstock has done to my history. Now see how he's rewritten his own. Our Lady, but for a single week. Comstock had a child. My books never mention anything about a child. That's quite an omission. Can't imagine that was by accident. But the child took ill, and Our Lady prayed for the Prophet's heir day and night. Fitzroy has murdered my beloved. She shall not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. You're Comstock's daughter. No, I can't be. I, I can't. He wants you to follow his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get one. Fancy putting those lock-picking skills to work? Get through these bars, but you're too broad. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. Is that? It's a tear, something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. Let me know if you want me to bring that freight hook in. Elizabeth! Done! I feel there's more where that came from. Whenever I'd get anxious, tears have a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. And that one will give us a turret. And some cover. Try that one! 
turret now! Enough, Slate. We just need the vigor to get out of Columbia. We're taking it one way or another. Slate! some cash. Here you go. Thanks. Here. 
your eye open for that shock jockey bigger. Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy. Too rare is the man who takes the stab in you and God. This open? Seems easy enough. There.
Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? Hmm. Got it. The whole place is ransacked. There ain't no shock jockey here. Slate must have taken them. Look. Satisfy him, oh no. He won't rest until he's turned us into tin. I won't let him. He took my past, but that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier death awaits. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Not getting this thing open without shot, Jockey. You're not the booker to win, I remember. Tin Man! Tin Man! Hold 
Booker, there's a lockpick over there. Shoot 
a bolt of electricity. Hold and release to create a shocking trap. seem very powerful. I'll do what I can to keep you stocked in salts. Thanks. what Slate said bothered you. You showed me. Sometimes you have to do what's necessary to survive. There's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in the act. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, less you know about me, better. Need money?
Elizabeth. You bet.
Surrender! obliged. Booker. I'll be certain to attend to that distinction. Booker. And there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I spotted some supplies over there.
need money? Okay. Much obliged. Got a lock here. Keep a lookout. There you go. Found some money. Much obliged.
don't think I understand how you do what you do. These tears. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. Making them? I could go wherever I wanted. I just wanted to come back. To what? I don't know. My family? Huh. How do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to read? Well, I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah? And what did that teach you? That there's a world of difference between what we see and what is. Appreciate it. Grab that lock. There's not you can do to stop me. Oh, sweet child. That's where he is.
Now! On it! with this lock? That won't take but a minute. Ready. When you were unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Not something that really caters writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. 
I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. So, looks like they call you the False Shepherd. And you the Lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. some money. Want it? Take it. That'll do. That's not Paris, that's New York. How'd you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs>
fresh air did the trick. This one's awake. So you're this false shepherd we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join the Vox. I just my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him, and you shall have your ship back. <laughs> The most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lot. Oh, why torment yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? Oh.